Oh, okay. I was just doing that while they were talking. I wasn't Listen, really paying attention. If you're part of this group, I already explained this a dozen times. Feel free to enter Fort Armel, but the inn is full. There's no more room. And the Jarl's Keep is off limits too. King Yorin and the Ebonheart Pact leaders are meeting here. Between the Nords, the Argonians, and the Dark Elf contingent, they filled up the inn. They even had to set up tents on the far side of town. That's not for me to say. I don't even want to guess. Commander Ian might have an idea, but you'd have to get it out of him. Whatever the king's business is, though, it must be urgent to call the various leaders of the pack together so suddenly. Okay. Well. We got one of those mini anchors done. Ooh, a town. No. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but what's here? What do you do? I have traveled to many places, seen many strange things. The discerning shopper appreciates my wares. Oh my god, I'm gonna need to go to a public dungeon and farm these, because these are expensive. Oh. Okay. And they need to get rid of those later on. I have one of these. It sells for a two. But you could buy them for 660. Worth. <laughs> wow, the water looks so good. You, what do you need? Again, Fjar. You only need to ask. Ha! <laughs> Confidence and swagger. I swag. like that. Twelve rabbits in less than a minute. That's my record. Those are. Let me know if I knew he's too quick. Make your arrows like Switch weapons back to my. Oh, what happened to my shield? Charge this. Alright, never mind. We're just gonna go do the other ones. Talk to the commander. Where's that lazy skiver? I'm going to kill him. What do you want? Someone steal your gold pouch or something? What's it matter to you? A business with the king, do you? You stand in line with the rest of the peasants. Seems like every alley rat decided to show up and whine about something when they heard the king was coming. But he's not here for that. The king shows up with his honor guard and all the pact officials clearly up to something important. And you just expect me to tell you what that is? Did you always get milk when you whined for it as a baby? Be off! You're going to stick your nose into this no matter what I say, aren't you? Fine. I just want this all to be over. Alright, whatever. Fine. Sounds like Todd, so we're gonna say that. You. The tales of Nords and their mead drinking are legendary, but Yegi here? He's absolutely epic. He's been he must mean that drunken idiot who tried to keep up with Yegi. He wasn't even in the same league. Whatever he was drinking was pretty foul, though. It smelled more like wet kagooty than sweet mead. I think it might have been Argonian. He wandered toward the river. All right, so we're just going to talk to all these people. My comrade, I am very glad to see you again. 
This is the Council of Province Generals. They run the guild under the direction of the Guildmaster, and they're very concerned. I've been speaking to them about our experiences with the ghost of Yafnir and the attack on the Earthforge. We feel... The Council feels that we need to further investigate Yafnir's death. You will be their eyes and ears, with Aleph assisting you. She's gone to get some air outside. She can explain in more detail. If anyone can get to the bottom of this, it's you and... I'm sure you've just amazed. I finished. Aleph reached out to... <sighs> no, I don't. More people to talk to. Filgore's troops sweep through the west. Greetings, stranger. It looks like you have something for me. Then by all means, let me have it. <laughs> Excellent. The fault is back under our control, thanks to you. You've made quite a name for yourself amongst our soldiers, friend. Lieutenant Koruni in particular seems suitably impressed with your efforts. At least we don't Sweet. hide behind the skirts of a supposed god woman. Uh, anything of interest here? My lady Alexia, I would have your head on a pot. Star metal. I guess I'll take it. Why not? More than my own brother. Great things to you both. And so when they made that quest where you had to hunt for 12 rabbits, they weren't thinking that they probably didn't realize that 12 people were going to be trying to be doing it at the same time. I just messed up that sentence, but... Ugh. Anger. Oh yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. I know her. She gave me a bow. I don't want to. I want to sleep. Perfectly good dream. Oh, Naryu. I love you, Naryu. Oh yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. <laughs> okay. Well, we're about to start a mission. I thought we had to put on a disguise, that's why we took it. I don't know. Oh, if you're still looking for Thod, I wouldn't worry about it. She looks like Dane Me and the commander headed for They're the barracks. The same. Thod's getting an earful, I'm sure. I apologize if we wasted your time. I'm sure it was one of the other guards. There are a lot of us, and we're known to relax with a bottle of mead or two when we're off duty. And never to excess. So really, I wouldn't worry about it. Listen, I saw them both just a moment ago, and unlike the commander, I slept last night. Now, it's not that I don't believe you found a drunk Nord by the river. It wouldn't be the first time. It's just that it can't be thawed. I can prove it. Both the commander and Thod headed towards the barracks on the west side of town. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with them. Then you can go get a drink and relax. Seems like you could use it. That looks like it's going into your arm. That's not good. All right, now we gotta go find those commanders. Look for Commander Yarn. I told you that we need to be patient. You're always in such a hurry. It's starting to get on my nerves. You're enjoying that body too much. Hmm. Can I help you with something? The commander is occupied by other matters at the moment. As one of the... Ah, uh, yes. Well, how about... I you seem eager to hide behind the rocks nearby. All right. And wait for so much dialogue. No. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see gameplay. That's okay. What am I doing? Hide. Uh, I played Assassin's Creed. I know how to do this. Actually, Assassin's Creed 3 is one of the better series on my channel. 
surprisingly. She booked it, or he booked it. They can't see me behind there, right? The house. There's a quest over here. You have spoken to Merrick then, seen the council. It is about time we acted. This one apologizes, comrade. She has been urging action for some time. Finally, to be able to. <clears throat> We have been tasked with investigating Jafnir's death, yes? Jafnir kept a room nearby. Aleph gave instructions no one was to be allowed inside until we arrived. I shall keep watch here. Enter Jafnir's quarters and search for... something. Anything to suggest a road to travel. Aleph knew she could... Too many more. <laughs> With none, anything out of play. All right, uh, just I think it's this one. We gotta search her house. Hopefully, she doesn't magically appear back in time, and we have to like kill her. <laughs> That's positive thinking. You just have to poke your nose into things that don't concern you, don't you? You can join the rest of the body over here. Oh, I thought she was gonna appear behind me. Oh. I actually wasn't that tough. I got two gold for that, though. Oh, man. That's like... The most gold ever. Uh, okay, we're going to... Go talk to that guard who's still there by herself for no apparent reason. I'm afraid you just missed Commander Eon again. He was in a hurry. He always seems to run when everyone else around here just saunters. Have you been drinking with Thane Yegi and the soldiers? What? All of this in Marla's house? You have to understand how strange this sounds. You're telling me that the commander I was just speaking to is actually dead? And there are others? Including two dead You martyrs? are the most clueless lady. Oh my god. After that story, I think I might be the one who needs a drink. Well, thanks for the information. I'll make sure to look into these accusations as soon as I can. You should probably do it now. This Listen. Oh, so close to 34. Let's say there are Stormfist agents impersonating people in Fort Armor. Even if all of this is true, we can't start a panic. The leaders of the Pact are here for kind's sake. No, 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 I didn't say that. I just don't want you running around crying murder, especially with the Pact delegations here. Think of how fragile our alliance already is. You should speak to Lord Velot. Tell him what you told me. He's the Jarl's advisor. He has his hand in everything that happens around here. Tell him what you told me. Leave nothing out. Velop smart. If what you say is true, and by kind, I hope it isn't, he'll know what to do without causing a panic. You'll probably find Lord Velop in the inn. Like most Nords, he enjoys his mead. And I understand that nobles can get particularly thirsty when the king is in town. You have to look at this from my point of view. A stranger walks into town and makes outlandish claims about spies and imposters and murders? How do I know that you're not one of these Stormfist traitors trying to cause trouble? You certainly are insistent. I'll grant you that much. Look, I'll check the house as soon as I can. In the meantime, go talk to Lord Verloc. Shaw's bones if there really are spies in Fort Armour. 
His lordship will know what to do. Okay, fine. 